Vi kommer att kolla på EJF så blir det rejlig. Nu får ni vända telefonen eller vad ni kollar på. För det ska bli rätt. Och sen så kollar vi på det här. Gullingham. Sen på Hall. Kabelstad. Det är ESPN. FC nu. Inte FIFA. Vi ska in i en annan trailer nu. Um. Vi ska in i den här trailern. Och nu är den. Det är bara lite laggigt. Nu är det laggigt men... Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 Deep Dive Series. I'm Lee Ravel and I am here with two experts, James and Richard, from the development team to chat through what might be the biggest year in Ultimate Team. How are we doing, guys? Hey, Leah. Hello. There's so many new things we have to talk through today. The ability to improve players in our club with the brand new Ultimate Team Evolutions, the inclusion of women's football, and play styles. Let's get straight into it. First up, we have to talk about Ultimate Team Evolution. Are you telling me that I can finally improve players from my club? That's right. We've never had anything quite like this in Ultimate Team. There's so much to love about what this unlocks for people's passions, for players, regardless of where they're at in their development. Richard, you want to explain how this works? Yeah, so in Ultimate Team Evolutions, you're going to be able to pick your favorite players and upgrade them throughout the year. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is pick your favorite players, complete objectives with them, and then get their upgrades. For example, you complete 20 passes with them, get two assists, and that completes level one and earns you plus 10 short passing and also upgrades their weak foot. You'll also be able to level up the player's item so that your club favorites stand out when you load into a match. Love that. Moving on to one of my favorite things that I'm so excited to talk about, women's football is coming to Ultimate Team. You got it. The Ultimate Team dream is obviously to assemble your favorite footballers from around the world into an Ultimate Eleven. This is the biggest addition of top tier players we've ever introduced into the game at one time. It's called Ultimate Team. If you're not able to play with your favorite players, it's not really your Ultimate Team. So this year, with the introduction of more leagues and with evolutions especially, you're going to be able to make your Ultimate Team and it's not going to look like anybody else's. I love it. So, new players, some new leagues, the introduction of women's football. How will chemistry work putting all of these new players into my ultimate team? Well, chemistry will remain the same. For example, Sam Kerr will link to WSL players, her fellow Australians, and is going to link up with Chelsea players. So in Sam Kerr's case, she'll link to Lauren James and Reese James. I love that. And what about heroes and icons? Can you tell the people if we expect any new ones? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be able to reach back into the history books to play with some of the greatest players from the past. But we know that the community has been wanting a change when it comes to icon chemistry. So when you have an icon in your team, they're going to apply a plus one league link 
to anybody in your squad. So that just opens up more squad building opportunities and more ways for you to make your team. Will these new players pop into packs like everyone else? Yes, indeed. Every player in Ultimate Team will share the same packs, the same pitch, and will be included in promos throughout the year. Speaking of packs, something I'm really excited about. This year we have new sets, we have new animations, including my personal favorite, a two-player walkout. So if you pack two really great players, they're both going to walk out at the same time. That's awesome. Well, I'm starting to put things together. Five new leagues, thanks to Women's Football Plus heroes and icons, and then players that I decide to improve via Ultimate Team Evolution. Every squad is going to be so versatile, so different. I love that. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Each of these new features should unlock a world of new squad building opportunities. Your club should feel personal and unique, so this is a great year for you to make your Ultimate Team truly yours. I have to mention this new item design because we haven't talked about it yet, and that's something that stood out to me right away. It's a big change, you're right. Redesigning the items was a chance to bring your favorite footballers into focus and helps you understand them at a glance. The new layout makes room for bigger images, more key information than ever before, like league crests for chemistry and even animated backgrounds. And you'll notice new information as well. So those play styles plus that you see on the left side of the item, these essentially will let you know what makes that player special on the pitch and how to get the most out of them in the game. Yes, yes. I was actually watching this in the gameplay deep dive the other day, and those sound amazing. Are play styles a big part of the gameplay dynamic in Ultimate Team? Absolutely. They're a feature that takes gameplay beyond overall ratings. Play styles and play styles plus are how we're bringing those signature abilities to life so that players are more unique and play more like their real world selves. Yeah, Playstyles Plus especially are something to look out for. These signature abilities that are unique to world-class athletes are reserved only for the best players. You'll notice the difference when playing with players that have them. Yeah, they're a great way to understand and get the best out of the players on the pitch, and a great way to know how to build a squad that has complementary skills and strengths. I love it. Let's talk a little bit about objectives. Yeah, well, we've been working hard to give you more focus and direction when you load up Ultimate Team. With the new objectives menu, it's easier to understand what to play for and get back to the action. There's also new navigation and a new quick switcher to cycle between modes so you can go straight from your squad to rivals or from SBCs to the transfer market. And there's another thing. Claim all. You'll finally be able to gather all your rewards from one group together at once. Yes, yes, I know how much the community has been asking for that one, myself included. Are there any other changes that we can tell them about? Well, I mean, we've also made a little tweak to how players change position. Anyone with a secondary position will automatically switch to that new position, so you'll no longer need to get position modifiers and keep toggling your players back and forth in different roles. And this change will make SPCs a lot more seamless, and you'll finally be able to use a player's secondary position in draft and get them some chemistry. That's amazing. Well, you guys, Thank you okay. so, so, so much. It's been a pleasure to talk through Ultimate Team with the both of you. It feels honestly like a whole new game mode, Ultimate Team Evolution, women's football, play style. I cannot wait to get started. Thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, thanks for having us, Leah. This has been me, Leah Ravel, signing off, and we will see you back for more deep dives. Welcome to the club. Yes, 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 sir. Och nu är det slut. Alltså finns det någon till trailer typ? Um, jag vet inte om det finns någon till bra trailer. Så det kanske finns det, det kanske inte, jag vet inte. Alltså jag vet inte riktigt inte.